Hello everyone, Yano Zhu here, Fifth Set International Official Tennis Coach. Today I want to discuss with you the reason why Roger Federer is arguably the best player of all time. When you think about Roger, you think about flawless footwork. Well guess what, we have put together a series of videos that will teach you how to move effectively and gracefully just like Roger. In this first lesson, with the help of Patrick, who is a recreational tennis player who has never learned dynamic footwork, we are going to learn together how to apply the walking step. When you think about Roger Federer, you think about his uncanny ability to switch from a neutral mode to a very aggressive mode in a snap. The walking step has been designed specifically to make you take the ball early, on the rise that is, take advantage of the space and the opportunity that you just created by surprising your opponent and putting the ball away. Okay, the walking step is essentially a more aggressive open stance. A lot of people confuse it with the open stance because they look somewhat similar but for the fact that one is more penetrating. So if you use the surface, the service line as a marker, the open stance would be behind the service line, okay, as in the walking step would be inside the service line, okay. But we load up exactly the same way. So you would open up this way with your open stance, your racket would be back and then you would basically go forward with the walking step, you would open up exactly the same way, but you would cross that plane, okay? You want to make sure that you exercise a little pause every time that you get ready to hit and use that service line as a marker. You ready? Ready position? Start a little closer to the middle, okay? Move in. That's it, very good. Again, when you do the walking step, do not feel like you're confined into having to take a full stretch shot. You can actually move up to the ball, take a few little steps, they're called adjustment steps, to feed into a walking step. Okay, go ahead, that's it. Give me a better penetrating shot, very good. All right, come on, try that again. One, two. Right now your walking step to me looks more like an aggressive open stance. I don't really see a full stride, okay? So give me one stride, and then exactly the same stride after that. When you're walking, right, you don't take one big step, one little step, one big step, one little step, right? You take the same stride, okay, for both steps. So one, two, okay? Same for the walking step when you play tennis, it's one, two, okay? Here we go. One, two, very good. Make sure you control your movement after the fact. There you gave me a couple of, uh, you know, stumble steps at the end. One, two. Very good. Control your steps. I only want to see two steps. Load and step. See there you gave an, an extra one. Just give me one load, one stop. Okay? Come on. One you load, one you stop. See you, you add in an extra. That means you're losing your balance. That's what's happening. Okay? Come on. One you load, one you hit. See you lost your balance again. Okay? That means that your posture is a little too forward. Okay? So keep your upper body straight. One, two. Just like when you walk, you don't walk like this, right? So make sure that you play the same way. All right, let's go. Walk and stay. Loss of balance again, come on. Walk and stay, better. Again, come on, walk and stay. You realize that your walking step is a little far out, okay? It's more forward. It's basically your regular stride. You walk, right, forward. Again, come on, one, two, very nice, one, two, okay, a little more to the side, go, one, two, perfect, that's it, one, two, perfect, there you go, one, two, do you see how much time you have? You have a lot of time, you can measure your shot, pick your spot, and then play the ball where your opponent is not, load and hit. Very good. Load and hit. Very good. So much better. Load and hit. Excellent. Now that you're ready to practice, make sure you keep three things in mind. The first one is do not confuse the walking step and the open stance. Two, make sure you pause and scan the area so that you can pick your best shot. And three, keep your balance under control.
with that being said, stay tuned. We'll see you in the next video.